Hello, James. Yes. It's Roy. I left a note on your car. Yeah. And uh, you said I broke the mirror? Oh, you said you broke the mirror. Yeah, well, I didn't think it was really broke. I thought it was more like cracked. No, it was broken. What's my wife drove off. The entire part of the mirror broke. Listen, it only cost me. It only cost a hundred dollars. I replaced the mirror. If you want to pay me the hundred dollars, that's fine. Well, I don't think I broke it all the way off. Like I was standing over your car and I was holding a jar of ticks. I was like dumping them in the engine, and it just it just cracked a little bit. It didn't fall off. I think your wife broke the mirror. No, it fell off when she drove the car. The minute she drove the car. The, the, no. the rest of the mirror fell off. No, because I, I was just I, I I was standing in a weird okay, place. Okay, I was, so I was trying. Okay, sir. Hey, hey, so, hey, hey, sir. What's the point of calling, sir? You, the mirror was broken by an act that you did. You know, I I fixed the mirror. I I went to BMW, bought a mirror, replaced it. It cost me a hundred and nine dollars. So where do we go? I, I think your wife's lying. I think she's a liar, sir. Because the mirror was broken, whether it was chipped or cracked or all the way broken was done as a result of something you did. So so what are you arguing? Well, I'm arguing that are your you wife's a... That, you, that she, you, she, are you saying that because you cracked the mirror, because you cracked the mirror, when she drove off, it fell off, that it's not your fault that you cracked the mirror? I'm pretty sure that's what happened. Because I was just trying to dump a jar of ticks into the engine. I, I, I but didn't... you cracked the mirror. Yeah. But you admit you cracked the mirror. Well, no, I don't think so I cracked, cracked it at all. It. Well, then what did you do, sir? Is that what I wrote on the note? Because I don't remember writing that on the note. Yeah, that's exactly what you wrote on the note. Oh, I that's not note. true. I'll read the note to you. Okay. Hold on a second. I'll read the note to you. Okay. Oh, my God, you're a slow reader. This is taking forever. No, I have to find it. Oh. Actually, I have two MBAs, thank you. So I'm not a slow reader. <laughs> Aren't you special? I don't have your note sitting, sitting in my pocket. I have to go and find your note. So I you see. Up. Okay. All right. This sounds fishy. It's like you're trying to do an insurance scam on me or something. An insurance scam for $100? Are you serious? Well, I don't know. Really if, if, if you're really poor, it seems like it'd be worth it. You know, you could try and get money out of me. I think your wife just broke it though, and and just like Here's with, your note. with her bad driving. Sorry, I hit your. Sorry, I hit your car. Call Roy. It doesn't say anything That's about a mirror. Okay, so then what did? Why did you tell me you cracked the mirror then? Well, no, you told me I cracked the mirror. I think your wife did the mirror thing. Why would my wife? You know what? Here's the bottom line. It's a hundred dollars. Either you you're gonna own up and pay it, or you're not. It, it, it's not worth me arguing with you about about it. You cracked the mirror. I have a note from you saying you hit the car. The only thing that was damaged was a mirror was cracked. My wife would have nothing to do with that. Why would she do anything other than drive her car home? No, I'm just saying she's probably a bad driver. But what I did is there, there's like this little ding. My wife's I, a bad driver because the mirror that you cracked fell off when she drove. I, I don't really. think I cracked it. You just put that in my head when I first called. I was just trying well, to tell. Then what did you do then? It's like didn't a, you call me and say I hit the mirror, and but no. I don't think I cracked the mirror. I just t what, what did you do then? Why did you leave the note? I left what the note. Oh my innocuous. god! If you'll just let me talk, I, it's like this little scratch up well, near the top of the. Oh, are you gonna let me tell you? No, you know what? Fuck you! I paid for it. Fuck you. Okay, that's what I want to. But I want to pay for the the damage I actually caused. Then fucking then what are we arguing about? Why are we going back and forth about this? Because what I'm, are we arguing about? You if, won't let me you tell you what you damage. Mirror, if you admit you broke the mirror, sir, and I'm telling you I have a receipt showing that I had to replace the mirror, and I can show you the receipt, what is there to, to discuss and argue about? You admitted it. You wrote a note saying you admitted it. I have a receipt that shows I had to pay for it. What is there to discuss? Either what? you're going to pay for it or not. It's $100. If you're not going to pay for it, just say it and we're done. Okay, well, the, the damage that I caused was just this little scratch above the door. I was standing by the mirror, but I don't think I touched the mirror at all. Then how did the mirror fall off, sir? I think your wife's a, a bad driver. 
an otherwise fine mirror just decided to fall off on the exact day that you decided to hit the car for no other reason. Oh, I wasn't hitting the car. I just I, I had a jar of ticks and I accidentally scraped it up on near the top of the door. You'll see you'll see the scrape I'm talking about. I didn't touch the mirror. Just my, my jar of ticks just kind of scraped scraped the paint a little. Sir, hello? Okay, so then what's the point of you calling that? Since you dispute the mirror. And why would you bring my wife into, into, into some disparagement that she's going to break a mirror? For what reason? What? I don't know you. Don't know that you were going to even return my phone call. I had to pay out of pocket, which is, means comes out of my wife's pocket. Why would anybody's wife or any rational human being break something for something as simple as a hundred bucks? Well, no, I don't. Don't we understand the logic? I don't think it. she did it on purpose. I think she's just a bad driver. So she's a bad driver, and she drove off and broke a mirror that was otherwise fine because of you cracking it. But it's her fault. No, I never really? said I cracked it. I, I think that you said that when I first called in. No, so you but, said you tapped the mirror, you cracked it, but you didn't think it had broken all the way. That was your exact word. Oh, no. You need to get that NBA renewed or something because, no, you're misunderstanding me. No, you don't renew me. an NBA. You don't renew an NBA. Oh, yes, you do. If you, if you, if you really had an NBA, no, you NBA you would know that. No, you do not. You don't know how I NBAs work. UCLA. Have you ever heard of UCLA? Oh, I, no, no, I haven't that's heard of that because I don't have an I MBA. You don't, you don't renew an MBA, sir. You might want to call them. I think they gave you an MBA that's defective. Yeah, yeah. I, I, do you have a degree? Uh, no, sir. No, I'm a high school dropout. I, right, exactly, exactly. That's painfully obvious. Ask any of your friends that do if you renew a degree. You renew licenses. You possibly renew certificates with, with uh, minimum continuing education. You do not de renew a law degree. You do not re renew a master's in business degree. You do not renew a psychology or any other You, you do if they gave you a defective degree. one, because yours is broken. Okay, mine's defective, right. I'm, I'm going to take that from someone who doesn't have a degree, but yeah, that's right. So do you think uh, you're better than everyone else that has a degree? Is that what it is? No, I think I'm better than someone who's too stupid to make a comment about someone that does have a degree when they don't and aren't, aren't completely are ignorant of what they're talking about. That's what I do think, yeah. Well, at least I, I didn't marry someone that doesn't know how to drive. You know what? My wife knows how to drive. Are, are you going to pay for it or not? That's the bottom line. I'll, I'll pay for the damage that I caused, which was this little scratch above the door as I was pouring ticks okay, into the engine. Okay, what did you estimate that scratch to be worth? Uh, like 50 cents, probably. 50 cents? I don't know. You tell me. I have a receipt saying it's $109.86. Oh, you're lying. That's the mirror. That's okay. I didn't break no, the mirror. This conversation, this conversation ends. Does it? When? What time? Dear Jesus. Now? Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Release the stinky from my ass. No. Stop it. Stop it. Oh. My it's working. Do you smell anything? I know. My mother's mother. I think it smells me. Sulfurish. Fucking bread. I have a gastric, I only need farts so much. I have a gastric, I only need farts so much. I have a gastric, I only need farts so much. I have a gastric, I only need farts so much. I don't know what that is coming in. That is hot, Welcome to another exciting episode of the Snowplow Show. Thanks, Dylan, for that awesome song about fart demons. 
or gas demons or whatever I said. And thank you to the sponsors of today's show, Hunts Point Hooker, Austin E., Phil Not the Doctor, Brennan, and Hal Falfa. They support us over on Patreon.com slash Phone Losers, where you get approximately an extra show every week. This is episode 821, and I'm going to do some requests today. It doesn't seem like I have any announcements for the day, so I guess I just need to say that you should join the PLA Discord at worldofprankcalls.com slash Discord. Join the PLA Reddit and the PLA Facebook group. I don't feel like looking up those URLs, but I will try to list them in the show description. Those are all three good places to hang out and chat with other PLA people. Why don't you do that? Do that right now. Also, go to prankcast.com for a bunch of prank call shows. Go to rogueserver.com for a few more prank call shows, like Wasted Memory and Dragon Mirror shows. And what else? I, I don't know. I can't think of any more links to give you. So I guess I'm just going to be forced to do some prank calls. I've got some pizza receipts here from the sign guy. He always seems to find Domino's pizza receipts just floating down the sidewalk. And they'll fly up and hit him in the face and he'll look at him and they're Domino's pizza receipts. Either that or he's like going through their trash. Hello? Hi, Myron. Yeah? It's Steve from Domino's. Yeah? Yeah, you got those um, couple hand toss pizzas from us. Yeah, and that cookie brownie. Yeah, how come you haven't brought back your boxes yet? What? You're supposed to bring back your boxes for recycling. We got to use them for other people's pizzas. What the hell, Myron just hung up on me. Listen here, Myron. You don't hang up on the pizza. What? When are we going to get our boxes back, motherfucker? Why does it keep hanging up on me? Okay, I'm, I'm calling back one more time. Because I'm sure he didn't mean to. Myron, I'm, Hello? I'm sorry I was cross with you earlier, okay? I'm sorry. I'm saying I'm sorry. Myron. Myron, I'm sorry. Don't hate me. Why are you being weird? You're being creepy. I can still hear you breathing. But you're not saying anything. Why are you breathing so loudly? How you know this ain't the sheriff's office? Uh, because I didn't dial the sheriff's office. I dialed Myron. Duh. <coughs> what are you, stupid or something? <coughs> I don't think the sheriff's office would have a guy just hanging out there at the phone coughing a bunch. All right, there he goes for good. Let's leave Myron alone. How do I know it's not the sheriff's office? Come on. Don't be ridiculous, Myron. All right, next we have Ebony. She had a pan pizza and a foil pasta Alfredo. And I bet she hasn't brought back her boxes yet. Your call has been Shoot. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Listen here, Ebony. This is Steve Dave from Domino's. And you ordered a pan pizza from us. And one of those foil pasta Alfredos. And you haven't brought back either of your boxes yet for recycling. And that's just not cool, okay? So maybe you hurry up and bring your boxes back so we can wash them out and, and let another customer use them, okay? Come on. Come on. Do, do your part. Recycle. God damn it. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. There, maybe Ebony will try to call me back. Got one last receipt for Thomas. Hey, it's Tommy. Uh, can't get to the phone right now. Phone number is 6260. Give me a call or just text me. So, yeah. Damn call it. Back. Damn it, Tommy. Hey, it's Tommy. Uh, can't get to the phone. I cannot get through to him. I've tried about four times now. Thanks, the sign guy, for the pizza receipts.
Uh, he actually sent me another one here from a different pizza place. I don't even know which one because the receipt doesn't say, but they got two 18-inch pepperonis. This is Meredith. Hi, Meredith. Meredith? Yeah? Hi, it's Ken from the pizza. You got those two 18-inch pizzas from us? Mer- 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 what? What did I do wrong? Did I sound too angry? Why'd Meredith have to hang up on me? I'm sorry, but the person you called has a voicemail box. Ah, that has- I guess I'll mark that one done. She just doesn't want to talk. By the way, I'm going to try those other pizza guys back. Tommy and Ebony, you know, on a future show before I throw those away. Because I love pizza receipts. Thanks, the sign guy, for the pizza receipts. Here's the number from Anime Girl 304. It's for a guy named John. And all she knows is that he's an asshole. Okay. Hello. Hi, John. This is one of them. Listen here, asshole. You just hang up that phone. Excuse me? Oh, you heard me. You hang up that motherfucking phone right now. You better stop talking to me that way, whoever this is. Oh, what are you going to do if I don't? You better stop talking to me that way unless you think you're big enough to tell me who it is. You better get that dumb woman of yours to shut up there in the background. Buddy, there is, all that's going on, my background's TV, and you better just watch how you're talking to me. Well, you better just hang up that phone, motherfucker. I ain't hanging up nothing. You don't tell me what to do. Oh, yes, I do. Dude, I'm scared to tell me who this is. I order you to hang up that phone. Buddy, I'm telling you right now. What? What are you telling me? Why don't you go ahead and tell me who this is? Uh, this is Roy Gerbel. Who? Why don't you turn your motherfucking TV off when, when you you're on the phone? better quit talking to me that way. Uh, I'll talk to you how I want to, you motherfucking Come asshole. Come over here and talk to me that way, man. See if I don't put your teeth down your dadgum throat. I'd rather just do it over the phone so I don't have my teeth put down my dadgum throat. Wow, anime girl, you're right. He is an asshole. And thanks for hanging up the phone, John. Hello. Ebony. It's it's Kevin from it's Kevin from Domino's Pizza. You, you got that pan pizza? Ebony. All right, Ebony's not going to talk to me. I tried her a couple times. I think I left her a message the other day and I don't remember what I said. Hello. Hi Thomas. Hello. Hello, Thomas. Who is this? This is Kevin from Domino's Pizza. You ordered a pan pizza from us and some parm bites. Yeah. Uh, you haven't returned the boxes yet. When are you going to do that? Why are they just hanging up on me? Is that an old joke at this point and nobody falls for it? That sucks. Well, that was all three of the sign guy's pizza receipts. So yay, thanks, the sign guy. I thought there was another one in here, but I cannot find it. Maybe I got a hold of that last week. Let's try a number of next door nicks. Put him in the back, huh? Yeah. Hello. Hello, Mark. Yes. Uh, it's Greg from the <laughs> Homeowners Association. How do you do the... Yeah. Uh, we, I just, uh, they wanted me to call you up and just ask you to stop dumping oil in the marsh behind your house. Because you're, you're not allowed to stop do that. Oil. Stop dumping oil. Yeah, old oil. Like, you know, you change your own oil, and then you just dump I'm the old... I'm not doing that. You're just dumping the old oil in the marsh. So please don't no, do... No, not me. Uh, do... No, we know it's you, so just cut cut it out. You're not in any trouble. Just please don't do it again. How do you know it's me? Uh, Well, we put security cameras back there, and we saw you, uh, you know, could just come right and from... How, your... how, long, how long ago was this? What was that? Hey, who's that in the background telling you what to say? Who's he? What's he saying? This is starting to sound He's even not, more. This is, I, I'm in my car, but I'm this is, That didn't answer the question. I don't get question. what you're saying. Well, I'm just saying that you need to Are stop me? stop dumping oil in the marsh behind your house. It's simple. Just don't do that anymore. Like find a diff- I'm not doing it. I know I haven't been doing it. I'd be curious to say to see who's who's saying that. Oh, come on. We we all know you're doing it. Just uh, find a legal place to take it. Wait, and... wait a minute, guy. <laughs> who's who's we all? Oh, you know, just all of us. Who, who's that giggling? I don't, I don't who's that giggling in the background? You you think this is funny? 
No, I don't. I mean, you're 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 messing up the water pretty bad over there. You need to stop that. Well, you're. <laughs> You need to stop making these accusations. Well, I'll stop doing the things, and then I won't untrue. accuse you. That are untrue. No, they yeah, are true. I, I don't. No, they're not. Listen here, hey, guy. Let me see the vi- let me see the video. Okay, here I'll turn it on for you right now, and you can watch it. Oh, oh, wait, that doesn't work, does it? Fucking idiot. What's this? Uh, what's this fucking word about? Uh, it's, uh, it's just kind of like, uh, you know, it's a word that people say to kind of enhance what their, enhance their language. And, uh, well, it, you're, aren't you supposed to be professional? It gets uppity people. Well, I'll be professional with someone that doesn't dump oil in the marsh behind his house. You know what, buddy? You're full of shit. I ain't your buddy, pal. All right. That was the next door Nick number. And that was his idea. Dumping old oil in the marsh behind his house. LOL. Oh, shit. I still had my number set to Domino's Pizza by accident. Whoops. So they'll probably be calling Domino's back instead of me. Okay, here's one from someone named Kent, and he wants me to prank call his wife named Barbie. Barbie's always fearful that people can see through our curtains at night when she is walking around scantily clothed. I can think of two solutions for this. The one that makes the most sense is to get better curtains or blinds or something. He gives me their street and says, I'm going to be a neighbor on Randy Road because the people over there always use our newly paved court for walking slash exercise. Ask her to quit exposing herself and being an exhibitionist. Okay, let's do it. This is an old one, by the way. This is from March of this year. Hello, this Hi. is Barbara. Oh, hey, Barbara. This this is Wayne over on uh, Randy Road. I'm your neighbor. <laughs> What? <laughs> Ain't happening. What? Oh my god, you piece of shit. <laughs> wow. So I guess this asshole got impatient and decided to tell his wife that I'm gonna prank her. Thanks a lot, Kent. But at least I got called a piece of shit. Oh shit, here's another pizza receipt from the sign guy. Hello? Hey there, is this Adam? Yeah, this is Adam. Hey Adam, it's Kevin from Domino's. You ordered a, a thin pizza from us? No, I did not. Oh, yes, you did. We have the receipt right here. And you haven't brought us back the the boxes yet? Or, I mean, the box? Because you had one box, and you've not returned it for recycling. Sir, I, to be completely honest, I have no no pizza ordered. I haven't ordered a pizza in damn near two weeks, so I don't know. Yeah, this was, uh, let's see... Uh, is on August 31st, 2023. But you're supposed to return the box for recycling. Yeah, let me look at that. Do you have the box still? Have you August e- 31st? Yeah, yeah, August 31st. Have you eaten the pizza yet? Yeah, from August 31st, that was a month and a half ago. I would hope I ate the pizza, right? Yeah, but you didn't. you didn't bring the box back. Where's the box? Throw it out. Why would you throw it out? It's a perfectly good box. We'd like to reuse those for the next customer. That's gross as hell, to be honest with you. It's not gross as hell. We we hose them out. All right, but whatever. We just put them, you know, like run them through the dishwasher. Calm down. All right, that's gross. That's nasty. <laughs> okay. I didn't notice this one was so old. I was just kind of scrolling through my requests. Yeah. Hey, you know what, motherfucker? You're nasty. How do you like that? What the fuck are you talking about? I said you're nasty. You're a nasty motherfucker. Man, fuck you. Okay. You got me good there, didn't you? You asked me to return a box I got fucking two and a half months ago or whatever? That's fucking retarded. That wasn't that long as one and a half months ago, you big exaggerator. All right, well, whatever, bro. <laughs> okay, there he goes. Oh, that was two months ago. Wait, no. No, it was like a month ago. It was a month and a half ago. Almost two months ago. I need to get to these faster, but that was during my trip. You can't blame me. You can only blame the sign guy for that one. Oh man, freecarrierlookup.com is broken. That's where I go to find out who people's carriers are with their cell phones. An anime girl wants me to do a phone number change on this one. So you know what? I'm just going to do it anyway.
and I won't know who their carrier is. That'll make it more interesting, right? Hello? Hi, Linda. Yes. Hi, this is Roger from AT&T Wireless. I'm calling to let you know we're getting ready to change your phone number. Yeah. Oh? Uh, your phone number, this one six number, we're going to change that to a new phone number. For what? Because um, c- you're going to have a new phone number. This one's, when people dial this one, they're going to hear a disconnected message. What? Why are you uh, doing that? Oh, we're just, we're cycling through all the old numbers. It's no, big... no, you do not, do not change my phone number. Oh man, th- this is not a request. We are changing your phone number. You need to get a pencil. Write this down. No, I'm not. Ah, uh-uh, you're not changing my phone number, man. What you talking about? Well, fine, get a pen then. Whatever. Just you, you need to have. Uh, what? So you can write down your new phone number. I don't need a new phone number. You're getting a new phone number, Linda. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Whoever you are. Oh, I'm with no, the I'm phone not. company, and that's what we do. We change no, phone numbers. No, you don't change phone number. I've had this phone number for years, well, and so don't fuck with my phone number. Sounds like you've never worked for the phone company, because that's one of the things we no, do. No, I have not. Okay, Mm-mm. well, that's what we're doing today. We're going to change your phone number, and uh, you just need to write down the new phone number. No, I don't need no new phone number. Ma'am, your phone number's expired. No, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. It expired. Okay, there she goes. At least she didn't question the carrier. Maybe she really is with AT&T. So there you go, Anime Girl. I changed Linda's phone number for you. Hello, this is Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Uh, This is Steve Day from the HOA. Yeah. Um, You still have that bench in front of your house, right? Bench? Yeah, that wooden bench. Uh, I don't think so. What is it, something on us? Oh, I don't know. It, it, that part doesn't matter, really. Uh, we're going to be parking my mother-in-law's car in your driveway for uh, just uh, like not even a week. It's going to be about five days. And she's got a, okay. a maroon Buick, and it's just going to be parked in your driveway for about five days because they're visiting. Who's this? Uh, th- this is Dave from the Homeowners Association. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it'll just be like five days. And then uh, we'll come and pick it up. I was just hoping she could sit in that bench if it was still there while she waits for us to come pick her up. I think you got... I I don't know. I think you might have the wrong person. Oh, no. There used to be a bench there. We have a picture of it in front of your house. Maybe that was from the previous owners. Yeah, you're going to... Huh? Yeah, I don't know. I guess... You're going to have somebody park their car here? What? I've never heard of that. Yeah, yeah, just, uh, you know, it'll be off to the side in your driveway. You, you've got room to get around, don't you? <laughs> yeah, but I, I don't know. This sounds like somebody's messing with me. Oh, no, I I'm, wouldn't mess with you. I'm with the HOA. Uh, we're, it's just, uh, you know, my mother-in-law and her husband and their kids are coming over for uh, just the week. Do you live by us or something? Yeah, yeah, I'm a few blocks away. I'm over there on uh, Drive. Okay. Yep, so... Uh, just... What? No, no, and she, you said somebody's going to set somewhere? Yeah, well, we thought there was a bench out there still, but I guess it's gone. So uh, she's going to be here tomorrow, and she'll be parking her Buick in your driveway. Is there any... Um, place in the driveway that you'd prefer her to park because she says she's not leaving her her, her, her keys with you because she doesn't trust you right um yeah towards the front she'll have to park up towards the very front okay well no guarantee she'll get that right but i'll let her know that you said toward the front okay and uh yeah just be five days and she'll come out and remove her car from your driveway Okay. I mean, you guys done this before? I mean, it's you, I mean, there's other driveways too. I I just don't I'm new to this subdivision. I've only been here 2 years. I've just never heard of something like this, so I don't know. Oh, that's that's why you don't know about the bench. Yeah, there used to be a bench no. out there. Yeah, I just never have heard of this. That's why I didn't know. Yeah. Well, you know, it's just we're do, doing it to it's it's just to be neighborly, you know, just to be nice and let us borrow your driveway. Okay, that's we're, fine. We're the HOA, so we pretty much just, uh, you know, just do, do what we want, 
say, hey, we're going to do this and don't leave people with much of an option. Okay. Yep. So uh, our your driveway is ours for just five days. That's all. All right. Okay. And uh, if you uh, happen to see her out there when she pulls up, uh, try to leave this attitude of yours, uh, you know, maybe in the house. The what? The, this attitude of yours. Maybe try to leave that inside the house. The, don't be There's giving, no attitude. Just don't be, giving, no my, attitude. Don't be giving my mother-in-law no lip. Buddy. Excuse me? Uh, I said don't be giving my mother-in-law no lip, buddy. Buddy? Yeah, yeah. I'm I don't know. I'm being gonna nice. have to, I, I don't know. This, I don't feel comfortable with this right here. Oh, what? Me calling Adam. you buddy? Okay, I won't call you buddy anymore. No, I don't feel comfortable with this whole situation. I, I don't know. This is not. This is very awkward for me. No, I, I don't know you. I mean, I, I don't know you. You want to come meet me in person and show me what's going on here? But uh, Not really. We're, we're, we're trying to get the house all cleaned up for the mother-in-law to visit. Okay, well, I own this property, and unless somebody comes here and tells me that I physically have to have somebody here, I don't want nobody parking in my driveway. Well, you're you're with the HO, you're with our HOA, so you pretty much just have to do what we say. Okay, I'll call your HOA tomorrow. Okay, well they'll they'll tell you. Okay. Yes, yeah, a lot of good that'll do you. Okay, there he goes. Next door, Nick told me he had an ugly bench in front of his house, but I guess this image capture is from 2018, so the bench has been removed. Man, the driveways on this road, they're as wide as the actual road is, possibly wider. I mean, the roads are a little skinny, to be fair, but those are big driveways. I think each driveway could hold about 10 cars. They're double lane driveways that are very long to reach their three car garages. Here's a sign from the sign guy that was left in front of some apartments, and it's for junk removal. Hello? Hey, I'm calling about your junk removal. Yes, sir. Uh, we live over here by the Casa Loma apartments. Okay. What yeah. all do you have? Uh, well, it's just one thing. Uh, some, some degenerate put this sign up in our yard. It says junk removal, free estimates. We just like somebody to come by and, and get rid of this junk for us. There's a phone number on it. How much is that going to cost? It's just a single sign. Uh, with this phone number on it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, weirdly enough, it has your phone two o four. It has that number on it. Uh, what's the address? Uh, my well, do you know where the Costa Loma apartments are? It's just right there. Some some idiot just put the sign in our yard. Um, I I'd love to come get it, but I, I, the insults is kind of not very nice. I guess insults is kind of not very nice. I'm not trying to insult you. I was just insulting the, the 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 big dummy that put the sign in the yard. Wait, that was most likely me, considering I don't have any employees. I'm the owner. Oh, um, that was you. Well, that's kind um, of ironic. Likely, You're yeah. a junk removal company, and then you go around putting junk in people's yards. If you could give me the address, I could come take it down. Uh, oh I, well, you know I don't want to put you out or anything. Maybe I'll just go take it down, and I'll go over there and I'll just pee all over it. Then I'll throw it in my trash can. That'd be good. I'm sure you'll enjoy that. Uh, oh, I will. I hope you. Uh, uh, and yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I can come get it. I'm gonna, you in person if you like that. Well, if you want to come um, and get it before I pee on it, feel free to come on over. Okay. Well, take 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 it down and piss on it. I guess. Um, I'm gonna pee on it. Please don't curse at me. Oh. I, okay. Uh, if you can give me the address, I can come get it. But um, if you'd rather well, pee. On do you remember the apartments that you put a sign next to? You just decided no, to junk up, it, how long junk up their whole yard with this dumb sign of yours. How long has it been there for? Uh, about a, uh, two months. Wait, Is September. it your place? Yeah. Is it a house or apartment? It's an apartment. It's but outside it, of your apartment. I'm just going to set it on fire. You know, that, you know what? I'm, I'm going to set it on fire. That's that's fine. If you, can you send me a picture of where it's at so I have a rough idea? I don't. I'm not familiar with that apartment exactly. Uh, it's on I'm the sure pl- it's on the plaza. Oh, I know. Okay, I see. You big you big stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not. I've never have really purposely tried to 
make somebody mad by putting a yard sign up. But. Oh, I'm not mad. It just it seems weird that you're a junk removal company, and but uh, you advertise by putting junk out that you never come back and pick up. Is it in anybody's way? It's my uh, really just, no, it just looks shitty. It just looks shitty out there. It's like having a bunch of political signs. It looks shitty. Your sign is shitty, All sir. Right. It's very shitty. My sign, my sign is very shitty? Yes. All right, well, do you want to shit on it? <laughs> I'm going to. If you don't get out of here soon, if you don't get out of here soon and remove it, <laughs> you know, shit all over Would that fucking enjoy? thing. <laughs> do you want to do that, or do you want me to come get it before you get to it? I kind of want to do it, but I'll probably <laughs> wait until it's dark out, because I don't want people to see me shitting on it. Just why don't you just make it more shitty? Oh, I will. <laughs> Can I get like a custom design? Maybe we could team up and make. Oh, it... I don't think so. No, because then you'll just put them in more yards and you know junk up everyone else's yards, and I don't want to be a part of this. Okay. Give me, give me, a, give me a day or two. It'll be gone, and if you get, get oh, a day or two, fuck me... that. I'm shitting on it tonight. <laughs> I'll see if I see if I can make anything happen. Okay, I love you. Love you, man. Thanks for the call. Uh-huh, bye. There we go. That was stupid. Hope you enjoyed it. Hello. Hi, Larry. Yes. Hey, this is Bill from UPS. I was trying to deliver you a package today. Okay. Well, <clears throat> my wife is who you need to talk to. Is there a question? Oh, well, no, I just needed to let you know. I, I went ahead and I, I put it in the pool in the backyard, but then the cool. neighbor the neighbor was telling you me that's... The wrong, hey, hey, the hey, wrong sir, shut up. Uh, that Turns out that was the neighbor's pool. The, the neighbor let me know about that because it's directly behind your house. It's just in the neighbor's okay, well, yard. Well, we got three neighbors with pools, so, you know. Whatever. Look, buddy, directly behind your house. How many pools are directly behind your house? Okay, okay. I'm, I'm right now. I'm in the middle of a of a meeting. So I put. I, I no, you're not. Quit trying to act like you're important. I put it right in the middle. Hey, he said I needed to talk to Christine. Let, let me see if he'll put Christine on. Hi, you have reached Realtor Larry. Please leave him your name and number, and he will get back to you as soon as possible. Calls are always returned. Thank you, and have a great day. Yeah, right. At the tone, please record. So he's got Christine being his secretary on the voicemail. He knew what pool I was talking about. It's right there. Hi, you have... Well, he just keeps hitting the F you button, so I guess I'm done with Larry and Christine. Thanks, next door, Nick. I'm sorry Larry's meeting ruined it. Oh, this one has a trampoline in the backyard, but I'm looking at it. It could be a pool. Nick's been wrong about this stuff before. Nick also says he has an ugly white pedo van, which is a cargo van. You know, the kind that say free candy on the side. Hello. Hi, is this Philippe? Yes, and who is this? Oh, this is your neighbor. It's Roy. I was in your backyard last night jumping on your trampoline. Okay. And when I jumped off, like I jumped off and landed in the yard, and I landed right in dog poop. And you need to clean up after that dog of yours. Okay. Okay. Because I landed right in dog poop. It got all over my shoe. Like, where was that at? Uh, right next to the trampoline. I was bouncing on it for quite a while. Yeah. It, what? But wait, wait, wait a second. You were bouncing on my trampoline? Yeah, last late last night, in the middle of the night. It's dark out. So but, you went and you bounced on my trampoline on my, on my backyard and you step on poop? Yeah, nobody else was using your trampoline, so I thought it'd be fine. And, you, and, then, and you're trying to tell me that I have to go and clean my fucking poop on my fucking yard. Well, it would be nice because... I, you oh, know, that would be nice not to go on my trampoline. Well, nobody... It's not in your yard. Nobody else was using it, so I just got on your trampoline and I bounced around. That's very well, so let me tell you something. Don't get in my fucking backyard then, next time. Well, no, I, I like your backyard. I, I go back there at nighttime, like at 2, 3, 4 in the morning, and nobody else... Yeah, that's good, man. Nobody else is using the trampoline. But usually when I jump off of it, I don't land in dog poop. Then, like that's right gr- now you just did it. That's good for your body. The next time, like, take care of the dog poop, clean it after yourself. 
You Maybe know, it's your shit, there. I don't know. Well, I did. I had to. I had to wipe my feet on your grass. So, like, I just. Well, that's good, I, man. Then fucking cut the grass next time. Make sure it's clean after you, okay? Because uh, I'm not. I didn't invite you to my house. I don't have to do that for did you. I? No, I was just using your did trampoline because nobody else is using did it. Did I invite you to my house? Uh, no, I don't even know you. I live. That's like, good, man. I live like three blocks away. So, like, just just clean up your. You know, don't be disgusting. It's gross that you have a bunch of dog poop in your backyard. So you like live like three blocks away from my house and you came to fucking jump on my trampoline. Yes, I did. What's wrong with that? Well, I appreciate it that you're using my trampoline. That's very nice, man. Oh, now you appreciate it before you seemed upset about it. Yeah, thank you for stopping by, man. Okay, I'll, I'll be there again tonight. I just, you know, I hope there's not dog poop on the grass. Very nice. Yeah, why don't you just come a little bit earlier, man? We'll have a fucking drink before you go go jump there. No, I don't want to hang out with you. The reason I go well, there... Why don't fucking want to hang out with me? Well, because I don't even know you, and I just don't want to hang out. I like hanging out by myself. So Oh, that's, that's what, very nice, man. That's, I'm like me, so I'm that type of person, so fuck people, man. But if you want to stop by, stop by earlier. Hey, why, why don't you shut, shut the fuck up? Yeah, uh, I just like hanging out at, at nighttime by myself. Oh, you want me to shut the fuck up now, that's right? Yeah, yeah, you were just going on and on. You wouldn't shut up. Just, just you know. Oh, for real. You, but you're the one who want to fucking talk to me. Obviously, you're calling me. I'm not calling you. Well, no, I was calling, I was to calling you to up. clean up your, your damn, after your damn dog. Oh, that's fucking nice. Don't worry about my fucking damn dog, man. Well, I shouldn't have to, but uh, uh, you're, leaving, uh, 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 you're leaving dog okay. poop out in your yard. Don't worry about it. I'm going to call you when I'm off work, and I'm going to call you, and you can come, and we can clean together. Oh, no, no. I'm, okay? not, I'm not coming over there till about 3 in the morning tonight. That's fine, man. doesn't matter. 3, 4 in the morning, 5 in the morning. I'm, I'm, I'm available anytime. We can go and clean all the dog poop with you. I even wipe with your clothes the whole freaking ground there. I'm, I'm, not, cleaning up your do- I'm not cleaning up your dog poop. I'm just, oh, no, you will. I'm only there to bounce on your trampoline. Oh, you will, and you'll be bouncing on a trampoline. You'll be cleaning fucking dog poop in the same time. I'm yeah, telling you. yeah, that sounds great. Yeah, just, just don't talk to me, cause you know I'm, I'm just bouncing. On, I'm trying to. Yeah, what, 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 what you are? What, 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 what? Well, yeah, what were you saying? What was? What did you say? You said what, 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 what? What, 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 what? I don't know. Were you trying to make fun of me stuttering, but then you ended up stuttering yourself instead? You sound me? pretty. You sound I don't pretty fucking stupid. Know I have problem with that? Did I have any problem so far? Uh, you just said whoa, 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 whoa. Because that's how you sound on the phone. Is it? I don't think I said that. I'm gonna rewind the recording. Your name, and, you and, never, you never freaking mentioned your name. What's your name, by the way? Uh, yeah, I did. I said my name is Roy at the beginning of the call. I have a recording of it. Oh, your name is Roy. Yeah. Okay, brother, no problem, man. I'm going to give you a call when I'm off of work, and we can take care of that. Okay. We can come over. We can clean everything. Don't worry about it. What time will that be? Well, don't worry about it. Why would you want to know everything? Obviously, you know everything about me. You're coming at 3 in the morning. Well, I just want to make, invite I wanna make sure I want to make sure I don't answer my phone when you call. Oh, that's very smart. Obviously, you have my phone number, dumbass. You can fucking see it. It's me if I call you. Yeah, well, I'll just... Oh, yeah, well, just, yeah, whatever. Have a good day, buddy. Bye bye. Call you when I'm out. I love you. He's not gonna be up at three in the morning. He's gotta work. The guy's full of shit. He's out working in his ugly white pedo van. Hello. Hi, Maria. Hi. Hi. Uh, this is uh, Steve Dave from Village. You know the condominium association. Yeah, hi. How are you? Oh, pretty good. Um, we just need to ask you to please not go up in your attic anymore. And and paint the walls so that they match your walls in your house. You're not supposed to. What really, do you mean paint the walls? You, you're not really supposed to be up there in that attic area. Up what are you in, talking about? Up, in, up, in, up in the roof. You keep going up up in the roof in the attic, and you keep painting the walls so they match the walls downstairs. That's a little weird. So can you please? What are you talking about, Maria? What are you talking can, about? can you please just not do that anymore? We were up in your attic yesterday. Okay, here's one from the sign guy that just came in. Wait, no, it came in 16 hours ago. What the heck? I didn't see it there before, but he wants me to call up this guy named Brad. What a stupid name. And tell him that I'm changing his phone number 
and I'm giving him a number in the new 975 area code, and he links me to a local article that says, guess what, everybody? We're getting a new 975 area code around here. And then he also wants me to tell him that Taylor Swift bought his phone number, but he doesn't say why. It's just like a random thing he threw in. I don't know if that's just his out-of-nowhere idea, or if this guy is a Taylor Swift weirdo. I don't know. Let's just find out. Oh, this is Brad. Oh, hi, Brad. Uh, This is Steve Dave from AT&T Wireless. Uh, uh, This is Steve Dave from AT&T Wireless. We're getting ready to change your phone number. Uh, Do you have something you can write down your new phone number with? Uh, Why would my number be changing? Oh, we're going to put you in the 975 area code. So this 3-4 number, it's not going to work anymore. Uh, 3 Four. Yeah, that's the last four digits of your phone number that I'm currently calling. Why is it going to work? Why isn't it going to work anymore? Oh, we're going to put a disconnected message on that one, and you're going to get a phone number in the nine seven five area code. Um, that won't work for me. This is a I use this for business. Oh no, nine seven five is local. It's a new area code coming to the area. So, is this really AT and T? Yes. Yeah, so we just need to switch you over to 975. I have your new number here if you'd like to write it down. Um, actually, I'm in the car right now, so I can't write it. I don't have anything to write with. Okay, well, when you're done driving, just call somebody with caller ID, and they will have your new phone number for you. Or you can call our customer service, and we'll let you know what it is. You can give us the old number, and we'll tell you what your current number is. What? I'll, I'll call my AT and T office. Don't do anything with my number until I talk to somebody. Oh no, I'm this I'm doing I'm doing it right now. Yeah, this doesn't this, sound right. No, oh, no, it's definitely right. Somebody wants your number. It's uh, Taylor Swift. She's using it for <laughs> using it for a concert update thing. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm completely serious. Um, I, I love Taylor Swift. She's so awesome. Okay, so you won't mind then. She can, she can buy it from me. <laughs> oh, you you love her, but you're gonna make her pay money. Makes a lot of oh, sense, yeah. right? So yeah, yeah. So who is? Oh, th- this is Steve Dave from AT and T. So uh, yeah, your number will be changed in just a few minutes. I'm putting the order yeah, through that, right now. Yeah, that that better not happen. Oh, it's right, ha- it's happening. Okay, there we go. I apparently did a really good joke on this guy, even though I don't get it. I don't know why I'm supposed to say Taylor Swift bought his number. I'm looking on his Facebook page and I don't see anything crazy about Taylor Swift. Doesn't look like he's obsessed with her. He's just obsessed with sports ball. Anyway, that's going to be my last prank today. I'm tired of making pranks. So that's the end of today's show. Let's listen to some voicemails. Hey, what's up? It's Nassau Matt. I'm calling from prison. I did the uh, Ding Timber crap that you told us to do, and it got me in jail. So Uh this is my only call. And, um... I need you to bail me out. Oh, so no. if you could do that, nope. that'd be really great. Not going to do oh, it. Oh, man. So fuck, Brad. This is fucked up. I'm sorry. I love you. But, you Bye. know, that's your problem. I gave a disclaimer when I said leave notes on cars. I specifically said do not get arrested or caught or anything like that. So that's 100% your fault. You're just going to have to live in prison now. Sorry. By the way, I've been trying to do cardings, you know, just like what's left of the cardings. I wanted to do some today. I tried to do some today, but I think I'm just done with them. Like every number I call is pretty much just not answering. That's all I get anymore is non answers. There is one guy that sounds legit and he's been trying to contact me but i can't get an answer from him every time i call him he doesn't pick up and no i'm not talking about you fake ding people there's still a couple listeners trying to fool me into thinking that they are ding victims even though i've set up their caller ids as fake carding person but if you want to leave a ding note feel free to i don't care that it's october the phone number is 913-721-6670 you can leave ding numbers all year long and i always say that but then not very many people do but i guess ding timber is just officially over because i can't get anyone else to pick up oh oh hey is this the phone losers of america or is this the snowplow show question it's number one both question. question number one the answer is it is both I mean, really, it's just for the Snowplow show, but I could use these voicemails for anything I want. Number two, are you in 
fucking the same guy that does the motherfucking uh, another prank car show? Are y'all the same people or do y'all just sound alike? Wow. Question number three. Uh, no, we're totally different people. Another prank call show.com is done by King Richard and he officially quit the show uh, over a year ago, but then recently he put out another episode. And then today this was just posted on the discord by I regret jumping. There is a brand new PLA corporate office comic out, which is the comics that Olga and King Richard and I regret jumping do together. So I guess King Richard's just kind of going at his own pace now doing stuff when he feels like instead of having a schedule. You know, I'm the guy that always calls you the GOAT. You are the greatest of all time. You're the GOAT. Oh, thanks. And then question number four. Oh, that's what the GOAT stands for. Now I know. You know, I fucking pranked the fuck out of your ass on the, uh, the, 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 the fucking, uh, <laughs> the call dings, the, whatever the fuck the call dings you called Did me. You? I fucking cussed you out, called you all kinds of type of N words and stuff, and I cussed you out, and you called me back, and I got you back. Just admit it. Yeah. I got you. I do remember screaming at you, saying I was going to kill you. That's the good thing about a prank call that I don't plan to use in a show. I can break the rules and threaten to kill people. Love you, Brad. Keep oh, going with the pranks, man. Thanks. Let's go! Quit wasting my time. You know what? I've got real pranks to do, and I don't like being pranked when I'm trying to do pranks. So knock it off, pal. Hey, Brad. It's next door, Nick. Hey, Nick. And, uh... Yeah, uh, I just uh, listened through the um, episodes 107, 108, 109, and um, somewhere in there, I remember hearing about Next Door. I think you must have received your very first Next Door post uh, around that time. Oh, wow. Sadly, it was not me. That's early. Oh, okay. It's not you. I was going to say, I didn't think you were around way back then. So that kind of deflates my ego as, you know, Aww. the Next Door pioneer for the Snowplow show. Yeah. Well, hey, I guess I held up this show for a few months along with the sign guy back in 21, I believe, 21, 22. And also just listen to 420, your latest episode, and I'll be sure to get more. Uh... 420, your latest homo soda is what the Google Translate says. Get more uh, next door posts from Psycho Bitches. Yeah. Anyways, take care. Thanks, next door dick. Thanks for all the awesome prank call numbers that you sent in including on today's show. It's always nice how much information you include. Hey, Brad. Dave Montgomery from Australia. Hey. I'm the guy. You know what? I should be doing another Hang Up the Phone show soon. From the former show called Hang Up the Phone Show. Oh, hey, look. Uh, just checking in to... You uh, think so, too. You know that uh, I'm still with my wife. We've uh-huh. been together for uh, 22 years now. Congratulations. Uh, I still talk to my son every now and then. How's your daughter uh, doing? He just came back from a trip to America. Um, where he went and did all the touristy things and yeah. went over to Florida yep. and went to um, uh, the Star Wars. Ah, thing. shit. Ding, 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 ding. It's been 30 seconds on this voicemail. I'm going to have to cut you off. Disneyland thing, whatever it is over there. Yeah, Disneyland. Um, so he's going well. My uh, 22-year-old daughter, she's just uh, finished doing her thesis in marine biology, uh-huh. and my nineteen-year-old daughter okay. uh, has, uh, in her second last year, Marissa, of being a primary school teacher. Quite proud of her. Okay, I'm hanging up the phone. Thank you, Dave Montgomery, for all of the updates. I appreciate it. Hey, this is uh, retarded Jardina. Hey. I'm watching um, Phil Plow Show 800 and on the YouTube, and um, the speed limit is 65, motherfucker. And uh, you're going 73 at times. Oh, shit. There's cold art evidence. You I- know, that was probably when I was on probation, too. I think that's when most of those videos were made, weren't they? I'm not trying to be a narc, but what the fuck, dude? You're on the slow lane, no one's passing you, and there's no tracks trying to run you off the road. Yeah. You run those motherfuckers off the road, no, and they didn't. give you any shit, tell them it was from that dumbass Ryan guy. Thank you. Oh, I you will. have a good day, Brad. Yeah. PLA for the win, motherfucker. Don't tell me what to do. I'll have any kind of day I want. You know, usually I don't go more than like five miles over the speed limit, but when I'm out in the middle of nowhere and I can see miles ahead of me and there's no traffic around me really, I speed a little. I'm not that bad though, and I'm not running people off the road just because I'm bored. Hey, Sensei Doug. It's Buffalo Bandit here. Hey. Wondering uh, when I'm going to get uh, on that show there. I got a proposition for you. 
next time I hear my voicemail, maybe I can uh, throw five dollars your way. Maybe we become. Oh yay! Yeah. I swear this is not my fault. I'm not messing up your audio. But yeah, it seems like uh, you are in an area without service or something. You're going to have to try that again. I guess I will not get that $5 or whatever you were proposing. You're going to have to propose it again. Tell me what weird thing I have to do for 5 bucks. Hi, Brad. This is Chris. Hey. I just wanted to let you know that I wish you was gay. Because I would marry you. Aww. You're so awesome. How sweet. Cactus. You make me wish I was gay, too. Hey, Brad. This is Q12 from the great state of Texas. Hey. With uh, somber news. Oh, no. A uh, longtime listener, Max Gilardi, has passed away. Well, you don't have to dox him. Now people are going to harass him. What are you doing? Rest in peace and may he fly high. A moment of silence, if you will. Okay, bye. Okay, that was our moment of silence. Rest in peace, Max Gilardi. Or was that Gilardi? It's very disrespectful of me to mispronounce your last name. Sorry. And I think that's a great voicemail to end things on. The one where one of my listeners dies. If you're serious, I mean, seriously, that sucks. Rest in peace, Max. But I don't know if I knew Max or not. That doesn't sound familiar. So thank you, Hunts Point Hooker, Austin E., Phil Not the Doctor, Brennan, and Halfalpha. You all keep the show going by supporting it over at Patreon and on Apple and on Spotify. Thanks, everybody, for doing that stuff. Thank you, everybody, for listening. I'm going to end the show with a song by a red band. This is called Landlord Blues, and it was sent to me a long time ago, I think, and I've taken forever to play it. I'm sorry about that, red band, but I'm catching up. I will play more music by listeners in future shows. Thanks, everybody, for sending stuff in. Here's the latest hit from Red Band. Hey everybody, this is Future Brad. This is uh, post-editing Brad from October 19th. I recorded all the other stuff yesterday, but didn't get it put together mostly because I was on Devin's show last night. So I completely blame her for the show not coming out yesterday. By the way, listen to the Devin show. I was on it. We made pranks together. Anyway, one of the guys from this show that I just edited called me back today while I was in the middle of editing. And this is the conversation we had. Hello? Is that Roy? Yeah. Hey, bro, where the fuck you been, man? I'm waiting for you on the trampoline so we can jump together. Oh, you're so cute. You still remember the call. I've forgotten all about this. That's fine, dude. It must have really affected you. Oh, it didn't affect me. I'm just watching on internet right now. You affected a lot of people, bro. They're writing comments there. You almost gave a lady a fucking heart attack. That's kind of not fucking nice. Did I? I'm going to have to look this up. Well, I have to look it up because I'm like, that's that's what I'm doing right now. I'm straight up from the computer. Yeah, I'm going to... At least change your name, man. Well, you think my name is really Roy? Come on. Well, I know it's not, but the thing is, like, it's all dumb because, like, there's, like, three comments. It's all Roy, Roy, Roy. I'm like, do something else a little bit different, man. What? It's the, what's, the, what's the matter? What name I use? I just... Well, I don't know. I'm just making prank calls, silly. That, that's cool, man. That's really fine. I'm like, whatever. Prank calls. How do you know, like, where I live and anything? Uh, you are on a list. A neighborhood list. I'm on the list. Yeah, you're on the list. 
buddy. Oh my god! So you can see like whatever you can see my address. You can see like what I have. That's kind of fucking stupid, man. Yeah. It's How like is a, it fucking legal? Well, it's it's stupid because you were the butt of the joke. If you hadn't been the butt of the well, joke, you would have liked it more. Because like, my point is, my there's a point. My point is that uh, my point is that right now you got me like going. I have fucking cameras and shit, man. I'm like you. That's not a fucking joke anymore. You, oh, wait, you're buying. Because if somebody, because because I'm saying like if they, if there's a chance somebody show up from my house on the back, I'm gonna fucking shoot their ass. I don't give a fucking shit. And better be not you, because I'm telling you. That that'll be my fault. That's not a fucking. Well, it's gonna be fucking your fault. I'm telling you, because you're the one who's fucking calling me and pranking me. I don't think it'd be my and fault you that you on, that you murdered somebody. I think murder's like your own deal. For real. Yeah. Uh, come and jump and see what's gonna happen. Okay, I'll be there tonight, three in the morning. I'll see you okay, tonight. Three in the morning, bro. You know that tonight. Yeah, I love you. Well, I love you too, buddy. All right, bye. Talk to you later. Bye. Bye. And there's where he hung up on me. So I went ahead and Googled my phone number that I was calling him from, and I've got an entry here from August of this year that says caller was vulgar and profane. And then this is the good one on November eighth of two thousand twenty-two. This guy called me claiming he had bags of leaves that he was going to place in my living room overnight. He claimed his name was Roy. He claimed he had copies of keys to let himself in, but I declared that he had no right to go into my condo. He claimed it was my condo association paperwork that gives him the right to enter my condo. As long as I was notified first, I called back an hour later and he said he put leaves in someone else's unit. A Mrs. Steuben, I believe he said, this all turned out to be a prank. But I had to tell you all about this so that one day this jerk will receive his karma that is due to him for him causing me chest pains. And I'm sure this person means because they were laughing so much that they got chest pains. Yeah, that's it. That's what happened. Okay, bye everybody. For real this time.